my kitchen while I make another treat for Cinco de Mayo. Come along with me. Join me while I make quesadillas. The easiest quesadillas I've ever seen. I'm starting with butter and olive oil. Let's just make sure that coats the bottom of the pan. And I'm going to um, fry up some thinly sliced onion. In this case, I'm using pre-cooked chicken. This is just from Walmart. Fire grilled chicken breast strips. You can do this with uh, fresh chicken. You would add it at this point. Or you could do this with um, leftover barbecue rotisserie chicken from the grocery store. Or if you had a roast chicken last night, you could use the leftovers from that too. I've gathered a variety of seasonings. I've got um, cayenne and chili powder, onion powder, garlic, uh, cumin, and um, paprika. You can mix the portions as you like, or you can open a pack of the taco seasoning or, or fajita seasoning. These are the same spices I used in my uh, corn and black bean salad, but these are different ratios. I cut back on the cayenne and I added more cumin. I don't want this to be as hot, I just want this to have, and I don't want them both to taste exactly the same. And I like cumin, so let's throw it in there. Now I'm just going to brown, or uh, warm these through. Now that I have the chicken and onions warmed up, let's assemble our quesadillas. I told you this was going to be quick and easy. That's all the prep work I had to do. I'm going to use some store-bought uh, flour tortillas. I also have some corn tortillas that I made myself that I'm going to use because they're gluten-free. In this case I'm uh, warming up the pan and it's going to be dry. I'm throwing in a tortilla. I'm going to put on some of the chicken and onion mix. A bit of cilantro because, the, uh, because Dan likes cilantro a lot. A little bit of pickled jalapenos. And because I said this is a quick meal, I have grabbed shredded cheese. Normally I would shred it myself, but this was just a quick one. It has ta taco and nacho cheese. Load that up. Put another wrap on top. And let that, put a lid on it again, let that heat through. Okay, that's been a, a minute or two. I just want that to warm through. I'm going to flip that now. We like things cheesy, so there's extra cheese going on top. I'm actually going to turn the heat off of this and just let it heat through. I've heated this pan. I'm using some uh, gluten-free wraps that I made myself. Uh, I, that's another video. <laughs> okay, so there's my chicken, cilantro, cheese. I like mine super cheesy why I like Dan because he's super cheesy and I'm gonna let that one cook through okay the cheese is melted I'm sure you could put the uh, cast iron right into the oven if you wanted to melt it that the cheese that way so there we have it a quesadilla with chicken and cheese black bean and corn salad some guacamole and I'm sure Dan is gonna put some hot sauce or something on his I've got some uh, taco seasoning here he'll uh, flavor that up. So that's it. And that's Dan's dinner. Thanks guys. See you next time.